Hello, students. Before we learn the safety principles of the insulated glove method, let's watch a little animation. Master, I'm not very good at filling out this work permit yet. How did I fill out this worksheet? Did you not fill in the danger point and the protective measures completely enough? How can we analyze the dangerous points without missing anything? To fill in the danger points and protective measures, we must carefully analyze, create circuits that may lead to electrocution of workers, and take appropriate safety precautions. Look at this picture. Operator is using. Insulated glove methods to replace the insulators on the side of the pole. Let's analyze what electric shock circuits may be generated in the insulated bucket truck. The picture on the left shows the insulated glove method. If the insulated bucket truck insulation does not meet the requirements, the electric generated from the conductor to the human body to the insulated arm and then to the earth. This is the first electric shock circuit, the second electric shock circuit. When the operator is working, contacts the conductor and the cross arm at the same time. An electric shock circuit between the conductor, the body, and the cross arm will be generated. This is also known as the phase to ground electric shock circuit, third electric shock circuit. During the work of the operator, touching two wires at the same time. The electric shock circuit of conductor body conductor will be generated. This is also known as the phase to phase electric shock circuit. For these three electric shock circuits, we must take appropriate protective measures. First of all, let's look at the first leak charge current circuit. When the human body with insulated gloves standing in the insulated bucket on bucket, when touching the conductor. The current will flow from the conductor through the human body, and then through the main insulated arm of the insulated bucket truck into the earth. In this leakage current circuit, due to the human body to the conductor and the earth's capacitance and the resistance of the human body itself and the resistance of the insulated bucket arm, compared to the resistance of the insulated arm of the bucket truck, is much smaller. So the size of the leakage current through the human body depends mainly on the resistance of the main insulated arm of the insulated bucket truck. The longer the arm extends, the longer the arm extends, the higher the resistance. If the length of the main insulated arm is less than one meter, then the current in the circuit will be too large and insufficient to protect the safety of the workers. So the first safety measure. Can be summarized by the word "long," that is, the main insulated arm of the insulated bug it on truck <sighs> must have a length of one meter or more. In addition to this circuit, there is also an electrocution circuit between phase and ground. There is also an electric shock circuit between phase and ground. The current flows from the conductor in the operator's hand. Passes through the human body and flows to the cross or more neighboring conductors. In the insulated glove method, a operator is wearing insulated gloves and is in direct contact with the electrified body. Compared to the insulated pole method, it is more convenient and efficient. But when using the insulated glove method, due to the narrow working space, working in the energized area, workers. Must not only wear the correct purse, you know, insulating protective equipment and insulators and grounding elements in the working area. Insulators and grounding elements, such as cross arms, etc., should be insulated and shielded, in order to ensure the safety of the workers. That's the second word in the principle of safety and security is tools. This includes insulated protective equipment. And insulating and shielding equipment. They are used to isolate the human body from energized bodies. Shielding isolate the charged, grounded body for the operation of the personnel to play a safe protection. Insulated protective gear refers to the insulated helmet, insulated clothing, insulated hand, insulated helmets, etc. With personal safety protection appliances, as shown in the picture. Insulation shielding equipment refers to the insulation blanket, 
insulation clips, conductor shields, insulator shields, and other equipment. And equipment, as shown in the figure, between phase and ground, in the electrocution circuit formed between phase and phase, is the human body and the grounded body. The electrified body to maintain a safe distance, a gap between the human body and the electrified body at this time, plays the role of the main insulation protection for the human body. It can prevent electric shock. So as long as we human body maintain a safe distance from the grounded body or neighboring wires, a gap can avoid the occurrence of electric shock. In practice, we require the human body. And the grounding body to maintain a minimum safety distance of 0.4 meters, and neighboring wires to maintain a safety distance of 0.6 meters. This is the third word in the principle of safety protection. The meaning of the word distance, the safety precautions for the three electric shock circuits, are summarized in three words. Long, harmonized with the word Chenguju. Long refers to the length of the insulated arm. One end it should be one meter or more. Tools refer to wear insulating protective equipment, setting up shielding equipment. Distance refers to maintain a safety distance of 0.4 m from grounding and at 0.6 m from neighboring phase. In order to ensure the safety of workers working in the electrified operation area, should prioritize personal safety and security. Keep in mind the safety precautions long distance tool to carry out power distribution work with electricity must be firmly established by the main insulating tools, auxiliary insulating tools, and safety distance. After form multiple layers, the safety concept of backup insulation protection is indispensable. Those who enter the energized work area must develop good safety working habits. Wear personal protective equipment correctly. Always keep in mind that the human body, between your body and the grounding body of the energized body, maintain a sufficient safety distance to work within the scope of grounded body that may be touched by installation of safe and reliable, effective insulation shielding measures. According to these rules, we can fill in the danger points in the work ticket. And the corresponding protective measures will not be missed. This lesson mainly talks about insulated glove method, replacing insulators on the side of straight poles, and safety measures, so that you can master the insulating glove method of primary insulation, auxiliary insulation, and safety distance. This is the end of the course. Thank you, everyone.